Hello and welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. As we are driving off in our cargo. Whoa, geez, that's a hole. <laughs> Let's not drive into the holes. We're driving off to our iron mine to go see its progress. As I believe it is just finishing its last pass of the maximum size it'll be able to do. And then it's got to be enough iron. I mean, if the iron from this isn't enough if we run out this is gonna be ridiculous very nice turning radius on this thing we'll bring up we'll park and drive forward until we get the little sort of wiggle whoop there it grabbed and lock up excellent all right so the ship will pick up a new load of stuff as we can go and check the mine Oh yeah, it is at its max reach, and it has gathered so much. There's still iron down here, but I, in honestly, this is this is not something that I I wish to uh, mine out with this drill rig anymore. I have gotten more than enough iron so that I can just just advance rotor. Let's just lock you, and for drills, we'll just turn you off. And we'll just leave this here for now. In the future, we'll come back and uh, salvage this up and get it out of here. But if we take a look at how much we have in terms of iron, we got millions of iron. It's absolutely incredible amounts. Four million iron there. There's another couple million there this connector has a couple hundred thousand in it six million and we are currently trying to transport some of this stone back which you may be like oh my god stone stone's worthless well it was worthless in this game for the while but now we have the survival generator which is not the survival generator. It's not a generator, it's the survival kit. That's what it's called. Which is a great little sort of mini assembler, refinery thing. That is going to allow us to turn that stone to not only gravel, like it would be in the uh, refinery. But it would also give us a little bit of iron and nickel and silicon and stuff like that. So it's not wasted materials, all this stone. We'll, we will process it eventually. I'm just going to probably have to uh, turn the game on and leave it on over the day as I go to work and let a few day cycles go through and let the base just sort of grind through everything that I'm bringing it as I'm bringing it so much stuff. Coming through here. And I love driving this around in first person without my HUD. It makes it feels so realistic and we'll park up wait until it grabs us oh it didn't grab us come on there it did and parked excellent so another load of stone for the base so if we take a look at these guys right here this is the survival kit and it's the super one block you need at the beginning of the game you need the survival kit and you need a little bit of power and you can pretty much do everything else uh, assuming that you're on a planet that has oxygen if you don't have if you're not on a on the earth-like planet then you need a uh, o2h2 generator but this is the one block you need this and a battery and you can build everything else in the game which i think is a really cool uh thing that they did so if we can see here in production survival kits are part of the production and i have it just going like 30,000 ingots and it's creating gravel, nickel, and silicon from that. And this one is 23,000. Just an arbitrarily high number so just so that they do it forever. And they're going to eat up all of the stone. It takes uh, 500 per thing and I'll just let them go forever. You know, this one will eat up 11 million stone. This other one's going to eat up like 15 million stone. So 
It doesn't matter how much stone I bring back. These things will turn them into useful materials. So that is excellent. But the other thing that is an issue is when we're going to build this, honestly, this is too large to be built by hand. I do not want to build this by hand because it's going to take me way too damn long. So what we're going to do is we're going to build the nanite control facility. This is like an automatic building thing that'll send out nanites and they'll automatically take resources from my, my storage and bring them over and build this blueprint for me, which would be super useful. But the downside is that if we head back into the base and head back to our production and we take a look at our assembler, this thing needs 583 silver and just shy of 2,000 gold. So basically 600 silver, 2,000 gold. If we take a look at our storages, we do have... 2,000 silver, so we're more than enough silver. We only have 400 gold, not 2,000. So we need 1,600 more gold. So we need to go back into space and go back to the moon to get more gold. So that's what we're going to do today. We are starting in earnest on getting this. And uh, it'll be by building the nanite control facility, which I've removed one of the... Uh, landing points as this thing has a conveyor on the bottom so that's perfect we just put it on the roof here and it will build absolutely everything and we'll be taking along our sort of newly renovated exploration ship which we can then grab the uh the jump drive at base approach which we haven't seen in several episodes so we should go check to make sure it's still there uh because that thing has a lot of gold in it as well but we don't want to get rid of it because we eventually want to put it into the uh, the, the dropship. Okay, so first thing I should do is let's get a few pieces for repair here. Just in case because I don't want to go out there and then not have enough stuff to repair my drills. So this guy is full of stuff. Okay. Let's let's first empty this thing. Because I don't need this thing all full of materials. I want to bring back all the gold possible. Get rid of everything from its connector. It's H2O2 is full of ice, so we probably don't need any extra ice, so we'll get rid of that. Other than that, let's take a look at just the local. It is empty and ready to go. So we will place all of our repair materials in the cockpit here. Probably. That'll probably be best. Will this fit in the cockpit is a good question. Yes, all of our repair materials will fit in the cockpit. We've got our hydrogen bottles, which we should probably go fill up before we leave. And then we will go back to the moon and go back and get some more gold and get this dropship being built. So exciting. Absolutely exciting. So let us head out into space and uh, go see how this works. Disconnected from the base. Very good. We've got our hydrogen generators on the bottom there for emergency power if we need it. And we'll point towards base approach. And blast off into space and there she is just just waiting for me nicely aligned to the solar probably absolutely fully charged ready to be my little jump drive 
Now we'll pull on alongside her and connect it up to our left side. Just like so. All right. Oh, this thing is heavy. It's hard to d direct this thing around. It's so heavy. Okay. Now, the unfortunate part is we don't have a marker for the moon. So we need to do blind jumps towards the moon. Oh my god, I have to, I have to move so much. <laughs> my gyros are so weak. I can't make this thing move. My gyros are too weak. Come on, gyro. Uh, relative dampeners. Thank you. Are you not activated, Mr. Gyro? You are. Batteries are... Fully charged. Excellent. So come on, Gyro. Do your work. We need to point ourselves... Oh my god. This is going to take so long to point myself towards the moon. <laughs> I will get there eventually. Okay. Give me a second here to get orientated. Okay. I'm realizing what's happening. This thing's programmable block is being the uh, the entire the thing, the solar alignment script, we need to turn it off so that it is not doing such thing. It is currently pitching the ship around, so we need to... I want to delete it. Can't I just turn this programmable block off? And then, for the gyroscope, it is not being overridden. There we go. Now it's uh, it's responsive. There we go. <laughs> well, that was annoying. All right, we need to put a couple things on our bar. We've got the jump thing. We need to uh, decrease distance and increase distance. And we have an idea of how far the moon is because we have a moon gold. So let's show on HUD. And it is 228 away. So let's go into our jump and set this distance to be 228. be 0 and 100. Okay. 50%. Oh, that's way too far. 226. Okay, good. If we try to jump to that, it's in the gravity field. So we'll back it off a little bit. 206 will get me there. Alright, let's blind jump. 206 kilometers blind jump towards the moon. Excellent. We're charging back up. And set our distance to be as short as possible, which is 5k. And we'll take another little jump here. In a moment. There was something that was 10k away. An enemy signal. Hmm. Ah, should be fine. We should be able to jump here in just another moment as we are 98% ready. And can we do another blind jump five kilometers? Yes, we can. Excellent. We'll just keep 
inching forward until we are right above the moon's surface. Aha, there we go. That jump will put us into a natural gravity field. So now, let's slowly move forward until we hit that gravity field. We know it's within 5k, so it should be here pretty soon. What is coast at 40 meters per second? Then we can back out of the field, create a moon approach, and uh, we won't have to do that again. We'll just be able to jump from place to place real quick. <laughs> Watching the bottom right, just waiting for P gravity to come up. The instant it does, we've got to pull back. Because I can't remember how high the gravity field is on the moon. But it's not too high. It's only a few kilometers. Mm, there we go. We're in planetary gravity. Oriented myself to uh, have my big thrusters facing the planet. Although I thrusted a little too hard. and went out a little too far. But this should be fine. Positioning myself right here. Let's wait till we come to a complete stop. And this will be moon approach. Come on, complete stop, please. GPS, new from current position, and moon approach. Excellent. So we will decouple. And let's push away a little bit. And we'll tell this thing to resume its rotations. Do programmable lock is back on. And it will readjust the ship so that it recharges. And it will stay here up at a moon approach. And now we can head on down to the planet. And uh, this direction here towards for gold. Although, if I remember correctly, I got the majority of that gold. But we'll find some more nearby, hopefully. In we go to its gravity well. Thankfully no atmosphere, so we don't have to worry about aerodynamics. We just come on here, full on speed down. Excellent. What is that? Ah, oh, right, there's a defense installation here. Totally forgot about that thing. Back for gold at our little mining hole that we had before. Which reminds me, did I put... Ah, oh, I didn't put spotlights back on this thing. I forgot about that. God damn it. We're going to need to have our spotlights on. There we go. That'll be good enough. Excellent. Excellent. Now, we can see if our... Mm, I'm not sure if our drill design is enough to uh, accommodate our entire ship. So, let us add some more drills. Because I do not want it to be that we cannot get all of our stuff. Nice, like crazy. Ooh, that little thing is in the way for me extending this drill downwards. Well, we'll take you off, little hydrogen thruster. Excellent. Drill. Slapped on. And on this side, I'll do the same. And 
get this through. Added. And then for the front, I wonder, can I put another drill downwards on this thing? I can, oh, I can. Why not? Add all the drills. Every single drill possible. Hell yes, this thing looks badass now. Let's cut our way in. Well, right click our way in. Because we need to make room. patch was pretty much used up, wasn't it? What gold is remaining here beyond just a little bit? Hmm. I'm not even sure if it's worth trying to mine out this patch. Maybe the best bet would be to try to find another patch of gold. Because just... It's probably all used up. Also, the thing we should do is uh, sort for small and ejector. Hopefully we, we brought enough stuff to, to make these. As I didn't think about this. And we'll put it, say, on the bottom of this drill. No, oh, we could put it at the bottom of this drill. That'll work. <laughs> Chicter. Do I have enough? Oh, I don't have the computers for it. Damn it. Alright, we're just gonna have to deal with stone. This is gonna be an annoying mining trip, but we just need some gold. Alright, let's fly around the surface a little bit. Zoom out and try to look for spots. And I will come back once I've found some good amounts of gold. Oh, oh, finally I have found it. I have been searching for so long. I'm getting low on ice. I thought I was going to have to call this off. I used up like 10,000 ice trying to find this damn gold. And I just did. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, let's back off a little bit. So I can go down to this on an angle, a better angle at least. And let's try to get this done before I hit 10,000 ice. That's kind of where I'd like to, uh, you know, call it. Whether or not I have found all the stuff I need. I can't really fly when I have no ice to fly on. So 10,000 ice will be my cutoff. But thankfully, we're plowing down into the gold. Wait for the dust to clear for a second. I don't want to accidentally right-click away some of this gold. That would be bad. Because I want to get it all. We are so far away from our... our Moon approach? Where is it? 11 kilometers away. That's how far I had to fly. And I didn't fly here directly. I flew a great big circle trying to find this spot. Alright. Getting down deeper and deeper. Alright, now it's starting to get a little further away from me. So that's telling me that I need to turn and re-point back towards it. Very good. And start moving forward. Ah, oh, found it. There's the cold. Bad part is we're going to get a lot of stone out of this. But we're just going to have to cope with it. And probably manually take it out. But let us begin... The gold mining. So we are getting a ton of gold out of this, but also way too much goddamn stone. 
way too much stone. Damn. Too bad I didn't bring the, uh, the little ejectors. It'd be so useful right now. But, okay. Connector is full. Cockpit is full. Cargo container. I want to get more gold out of this than just stone. What we need to do... Is, is there something on here that has computers that I can salvage? Because what do I need for uh, getting this little dealie to work here? I need a five computers there and four computers there. So I need nine computers. Is there something on this that I can salvage for nine computers? The remote control has one. This has two. So there's three. And I could get the pair of the gyroscopes. It is not the best thing in the world to do. To sort of ungrind your stuff. The gyroscopes are making me a little bit uh, harder to control. But I think it is worth it to get this ejector working. Because... Goddamn, this stone, it is such an issue. So let's go to that uh, sorter. We'll whitelist and grab the stone and drain all and then ejector, throw out. Get rid of it. Oh geez. <laughs> That's going to start filling up real quick here. I should uh, back the ship off a little bit and create a little bit of a hole for that stuff to fall into. Uh, okay, quickly, ejector. Uh, stop. Stop for a second. I need to make a hole for you to work in. Let me just back out of here. And we'll aim down a little bit. And we'll just right-click our way and create a little bit of a, a spot for it to drop all of the excess stone into. Oh my god, this thing's so uh, sluggish now that I got rid of all those gyros. I will have to be careful while I'm, di while I'm piloting this. If I get enough of this stuff taken away. Come on, Gyros. Straighten me back out again. What should occur is those should fall down into here. Alright. Or at least that's what they can do. So we got a little bit of a pit there. Ejector. Start throwing it all out. There we go. There we go. Back to mining. Okay, we have got a bunch of gold. A whole bunch of it. We're still getting rid of some of the stone as uh, it was just so much stone in the way. But it is slowly being spat out. And... Uh, in a little bit more, it'll be all gone. And then we can start flying back to base and get the oh, nanites ready. God, this, this gold excursion took way longer than I expected. In real time, I've been going for about an hour. Not sure what the video will be at at this point. But I still feel like there's enough time in the video to do uh, return to base and uh, get the thing starting to assemble the parts for the nanite. We're just watching our, our ice ever so slowly go down. Okay, good. All the stone is out. It is all laying on the surface of the moon, which will eventually despawn. We'll get rid of this little guy's here 
let's get the little hydrogen thruster back on there because why not and we'll repair our little bits of things we had on the roof here as without three gyros and this thing's heavily loaded holy crap it's like not maneuverable at all so we need to find moon approaches over the horizon oh is that something that frightens me looks like there's something in between here and there not sure if it's a an asteroid or not but moon approach here we come and then we'll jump on the the drive and head back to to home I hate coming in for a landing at the base in the dark all I have to work on is my altimeter and that's it so I know I'm 1300 meters above the ground and I gotta pitch up to get my bottom thrusters facing downwards so that I know I'm not gonna hit and that's it there's no other information because I can't see shit because it's so damn dark I mean it is it is my fault because I I have the uh, space just got a real mod on that makes it so dark damn I would never want to be a pilot at night because this would just be scary and we're ever so slowly down to the base now we're close enough we can just fly in excellent 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 my Planning spot should be right down here. Aha! There she is. And we got home. Trip to the moon and back. 11,000 ice left over. Not too shabby. Lock up. And let us get that gold processing. I'll get it all processed and I'll get all the components built and uh, inventory gold we have it in our car container excellent so on this side we'll do refineries we have 60,000 so we'll do 20,000 in each refinery And we'll put it at the front of the queue. So we're processing pure gold right now. And we'll let that process. Next we can go to our assembler here. And let's tell it to build everything we need for a nanite control. Wherever the hell it is in this list. Ah, there it is. 25,000 cobalt. Do we have that? That is a lot of cobalt. We'll set it to go. Cobalt. We might have to do massive cobalt runs. Oh no, we got 22,000, so we just need a few thousand more. Okay. <laughs> Actually, surprisingly, how much. That's a surprise amount of cobalt. We'll also put the cobalt to be next in line. And we don't want to process stone. That'll put that last. Excellent. Everything is all set up. I'm going to let the base run for a couple in-game days as I do uh, cargo runs with the rover. And then next episode, we are going to build this thing and get it building our wonderful blueprint, which... This turned off for some reason. Where have you gone? Blueprint! Why have you turned off? Why have you forsaken me? I 
is the projector. Build progress. It says it's there. Maybe it's just uh, hard to see at night. But, oh well. That is fine. Next episode, we're going to start building that thing. A lot of prep to get to it. And then eventually, we'll fill it all up with all of our materials. And we'll head off to go set up a nice big moon base with it. But that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching. And good hunting.